Tonight, the movie that we will be reviewing is Hunter's Moon. Dun dun dun! Howdy, folks. Tis I, Captain Bill. I did not know that was him under there. And my uh, <coughs> my hetero life partner. Sup, Big Shot Joe. <laughs> Once again, bringing you another dynamic episode of Cat Bill and Big Shot Joe. Watch a movie. So, tonight, uh, tonight, as you saw, we do Hunter's Moon. Hunter's Moon. Yes. Um, for those of you who know me, you know of my obsession with werewolves. <laughs> I just, I love werewolves, man. He needs help. Anything and everything werewolves. It's... Yeah, I love them. They're, I just, you know, but so, uh, you know, I was, I was, I was at, uh, I was looking at the Red Box site. I was going to rent, some, order some movies to watch. We originally we were going to watch a different movie, one that my nephew Zach had uh, recommended and wanted to do. So I was going to order it, rent that one, order it, and I come across this one. I was like, whoa, what is this? And I watched the trailer for it, and that was all it took. So. So the next movie we do, Zach, will be the uh, the lighthouse. Unless Bill finds with something. Willem Dafoe and uh, unless Robert Bill Pattinson. finds something better. I mean. No, no, no. We will oh, do okay. that. We will do that one next. I <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. I actually bought that movie. Just bought it outright, so I have it. He did. But Hunter's Moon, I couldn't buy it. It wasn't for sale yet, so he just rented it. So. And it's werewolf, and I hadn't seen it, and it was brand new, and I got excited, and so that's what we're doing. Oh, so let's get into it, shall we? Yes, let's do it. All right. So, as I said, Hunter's Moon. So basically, uh, this movie is starts out. It's a it's a guy, an older guy. It looks like he's probably I would say in his forties. You know, late thirties, early forties. Probably, yeah, about. 40s. And yeah, he's 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 got this young girl there, and they're drinking wine and they're talking, and uh, turns out, yeah, she the, the wine was drugged, and she passes out, and he then proceeds to strangle her on the couch, which gave me mixed signals about. The film. Yeah, so this is all within the first, within the first five minutes of the movie. And he then, you know, you, the next thing you see, he's out in the middle of this orange grove. Because he, he lived kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, a, of an orange grove. And it was where his house was. Distant um, from everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously he was a serial killer. So yeah, it shows him out in the orange grove in the middle of the night. You know, digging a whole berry in this body. It's all wrapped up in plastic. Yep. Well, while in the midst of digging, he hears something that spooks him. He something. stops, he listens. And he, I, I, you know, I don't know if he's if they he's seen something or he just heard something else that just scooped him. But next thing you know, he throws down the shovel and he goes to running, and uh, he, he doesn't make it out it. of the orange grove. Not one bit. His own so, orange grove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then boom, that's when the title scene comes in and they start running. So really, the movie. It, the movie just starts right in on this. You know, then yeah, it goes into that. So. So basically, uh, at this point now, is where the real plot of the movie begins. And that's <clears throat> when we see that uh, uh, your father is in a movie with his family. You know, they're driving along. It's uh, Thomas Delaney and his uh, wife, Bernice. Their oldest daughter, Juliet, and their middle daughter, Wendy. And the youngest daughter, Lisa, traveling along. You get the gist, you know... And there, that they kind of explain it that they're new. They're just moving into this town. Apparently, they bought this house that this serial killer lived in. So, went on the yeah, market. Yeah, they 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 stop at uh, you know they stop at some little store Convenient in this town store. and meet some a couple of the locals. But, uh, but yeah, he, he, he you know they you kind of notice um, the dad. There's something 
right from the start, you kind of notice he's a little strange. Yeah, he's it's like uh, he's got a like a military hat on, but he's almost he like freezes up like he's having PTSD or something. I you know, I don't know. So, uh, but you know, the oldest daughter, she's your typical you know rebellious you know kid, uh, that, that teenager. So, but she's obviously got a thing for bad boys because there's uh, she runs into Billy. In, in this convenience store, you can tell he's, he's trouble. He's bad news. She takes a fancy to him. So. Right. But right. you know they get they get to the house and obviously she's in the drive there. She's talking and she's voicing her displeasure for being there. And um, so they get to the house and they're moving in. But it, it's it's right after they move in. The parents are have to leave for a trip. I mean, like literally, like the it's either the day they move in or the next night. Yeah, they who move does in. that? I mean, they, they're you know well, they weren't even unpacked, but they have to leave right. on a trip for like a day or two. So they uh, they leave, leaving the daughters there in the house. Well, naturally, Mister Billy and his two brothers, uh, Lenny and Daryl, show up at the house. But the uh, the oldest girl, I guess she seen. I don't know, maybe she seen him out a window, or. But she, she goes to the door as a man, and they go in, and there's 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 drinking, and there's making out, and. And that's where just things start happening. Um, you know, one one of the kids runs off into the grove. One of the brothers is chasing after. Her something in the grove and yep uh, it just it it gets crazy it gets crazy after that but uh right on it, you know it's it was kind of cool because of the thing i like about the movie is it it wasn't cheesy it wasn't cheesy it was it was done well you didn't you you don't see the, you know the, the the really they don't you don't see the creature. You, you, it's like glimpses. You hear a growl. You see glimpse stuff, and, and it, it, they do it at a point where it makes it like you know to me extra creepy. So, you know, Joey, uh, just ch- you know jump in here. You know, um, that's well, pretty much the plot of the, of of the of the movie is what I'm giving you is this right. father moves his family. To this secluded little house in the middle of this orange grove, uh, bad boys from the, from the town, you know, happen upon the house when the parents are gone. It's just the daughters there, and they party a little bit, and well, then the youngest one, you know, she's not down with it. She's scared. She runs away. They chase, and then you know, there's monsters, and there's lots of screaming and crying, and all sorts of stuff. And, and death. And death. So, my take on this film, my opinion... Oh, and then the sheriff shows Yes, up. I'm sorry, does. we forgot to mention. Um, the yeah, sheriff. In the midst of this, the sheriff shows up. Uh, just, like, he's just checking on, on the girls there at the house. But he suspects something's going on. He hears a scream in the Orange Grove. Um, he's out there now. He's out in the Orange Grove. So... Now he's involved in part of this whole mix when things started happening. So, right. is another element. So, my take on this film. Uh, well, I, you know, <laughs> there's definitely plot twists. So, if you guys like being tripped up in a movie, uh, mis- the mysterious side of it, all mystery. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, suspense. Um, there's, um, there's actually a couple of plot twists. There, I mean, there, really, there is a lot of twists. You know, yeah, you, you know, and then you, you get this one here, and then this one here, and right. So, my thing is, um, I did like the mystique of them kind of keeping the creature, creature, trying to keep it, you know, the look of it and everything. They didn't want to reveal it. Well, yeah, and, and till the, the end, it's. They kind of they use that. Uh, so you won't see like what this the, thing like looks that, like. Like that the Jaws end. thing, you know, that they did with Jaws. Yeah, Jaws. You know, didn't infamously, get re- those of you who know about the movie Jaws, 
Bruce, the mechanical shark that was used in that movie, he, he didn't like to work. You know, I guess when they made it, they, I don't know, maybe it was something about the, the salt of the ocean that they just didn't factor on being quite so bad. I don't know, but I, I don't know. lots of malfunctions. So they had to improvise a lot. So that's why in the movie Jaws, there's a lot of that, the camera, they just do the music and the camera just go and it's like that point of view, you know, kind of stuff. And it, it led a little, you know, just it's a, basically what it does is it allows you to use your own imagination. When you can't see something, you know something's there, you know something's happened. You know, you may know what just happened, but you didn't see it. It adds, it, you, because you you get this vision in your head. Yeah. You know, and everyone, me and you sat there and watched the same movie. But as this thing was running past you, oh, you hear the growl and you see a glimpse of it like running behind someone. Yeah, but you don't know no, what the, the point whole I'm, figure is. The point I'm making is, is when that moment happened, you got a picture in your head you got an image of some sort of creature and what it looked like in your mind oh yeah naturally and it was different from what i pictured in my head and if there was someone else with us their their vision would well, have been different and that's the whole point and every one of you that. that watch it you're going to see something different so that's why i kind of like when they do if they just show you right off the bat oh here's my monster ah this is what it looks like the then there's no imagination over. he's like okay i know what it looks like now so there's no right. there's no like oh shit you know which so, you do get a reveal. I'll, I'll give you that. You do get a, a, a full on reveal at the end. It's not bad, you know. I mean it's not bad it's, for I mean, you know, it's it's not major, you know, multi, you know, it's not, you know, a, a, a you know, fifty million dollar, you know, production type movie, you know, reveal. I'll say that. You know, but for what this movie was and is it's not bad, it, you know. It's not. It's so, cool looking, you so know. honestly, it's different looking. Yes, it is different. But uh, you know, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look. It doesn't look goofy. It's easy, you know. It's just not bad, you know. It's it's, it's cool, but it, the movie's not about the, the the creature effects. This movie is more about the story that's being told. And, story, uh, you know, the the storyline. Yeah, the. The mystery, the, of, uh, the mystery of things, you know, the things that's like, okay, something, this doesn't seem right. Wait a minute, that's odd, you know, and you're trying to piece it together, but, so it was like a, a horror mystery, yes. suspense, horror mystery combination type thing. Absolutely. So, my take is, with this film being like that, I always love that. You have that factor. The, the, the point is to this movie is... You know, uh, here we are thinking we're going to watch a, a regular werewolf movie, but it was like, I, and I got to say, it was like there was, like, sadistic shit happening all over the place, and then it all culminates at the end. So, it's like you see a lot of sick factors in a movie that you're like, what the hell is this doing in a werewolf movie? <laughs> you know, but it... It it worked. It gel it gelled very well. It, and don't worry. It, it, by the end of the movie, all is explained. You, you, absolutely. You know and understand everything. Absolutely. But you're gonna do like I did and keep you, saying, you know, this why? is what it is. No, this is what it is. No, that's what it is. And then you're like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So like you had an epiphany. Right. Right. That's it. So um, I enjoyed it. I did. Um, it wasn't bad. Um, yeah. You know, I, for, you know, I'm glad you found that film, Bill. I thought it was gonna suck, and I was entertained. So you know what? Hey, yeah. It's kudos same here. to you, same man. Here. Like you said, I, I, you know, like I said I love my werewolf stuff, and you know, when I come across something I'm like, whoa, I've never seen this, and I know there's other ones out there, and when I come across them and I have the opportunity to get them and watch them. Bill I'm going to. Own to. If I get a chance to buy them, I film. will. Yeah, so. if it's a werewolf movie and I don't have it, I, I want it for my collection, and I will try to buy it. It's, it's you know it, every opportunity I get. Right on. So, so this is one that I will attempt to, at some point in time, purchase. I'm hoping it comes available. Bill, I hope you fulfill that destiny. 
Thanks, Joey. I really do. For your collection, man. Yeah. Right on. My collection. Hetero life partner. I mean, this. Say. <laughs> My collection, my, my movie collection, it is obscure. You guys. It benefits y'all, but it is, and I will say, Billy, because these, the majority of the movies that we review come from directly from my collection. See, let me, let me just, let me just real quick my take on your collection. I'm gonna give my opinion here. Bill's movie collection is actually pretty good. It's, it's very random, different types. You are a fan of all genres. You open one drawer and it'll creep the shit out of you. And then you open up another drawer and you see some funny-ass movies. So, you know. Action. Action, yes. Suspense. Some action suspense. Um, you know, I got every type of... I got slasher movies. I got monster movies. I got spiritual, supernatural, ghost, goblin kind of shit movies. You know, I got the ones that really freak him out, like those exorcism type movies. Oh, yeah, man. Those give me the willy. The heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. So, um, real quick, I mean, we talked about the characters in the film. Um, should we maybe say who starred in it? You know, just by a, all means. Just a quick touch. By all um, means. The the yeah, most. We, we, as you know, give them. Yeah. Make sure you tell well, them, you know, the, the characters because I oh, have yeah, yeah. We character got, names. It's okay. We got it written so. out. Good. Yeah, all right. All so we got the father who Bill was talking about. Uh, <laughs> he was played by Jay Moore. Thomas Delaney. Thomas Delaney is the character he played. Jay Moore. For those of you that don't know, the best thing I can remember him in that I uh, I liked was um, uh, what was it? He was in uh, I think it was Vegas Vacation. Yeah, I don't Didn't think he play the no. He's no. He was on SNL. Yeah, he was on, he was I was on SNL. You, I was letting you uh, yeah. flounder for he, a little bit. There. All right, so he's a comedian yeah. on SNL. That's where SNL, I know him from. Um, he was in. Um, <clears throat> he was in Jerry Maguire. He was uh, the rival, the rival sports agent. Yeah. Cruise. Okay. Yep. So, there you go. That's a notable yeah. film for him. Yeah, he's been. Yeah, he, he used to, he was part of that uh, he was part of the SNL crowd when uh, like Sandler and those guys were there. He was. Cause you, I don't know if you remember uh, they used to do a skit with Hip Farley and Sandler and Jay Moore where they were the bodybuilder guys, huge, big old jacked up, you know, upper bodies, and they had those scrawny little like skeleton like legs. You know, they just only worked the upper bodies. And right. it just was always yeah, you know, yeah. they were all roaring up talking about someone's getting a beaten. They had acne all over their faces because they were doing steroids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it so, was funny. So um, these were some actors. I tried looking up some of their work. Um, I, I'm i not really too familiar with some of them, but there is one I'm familiar with. I just want to – I'm just going by the popularity just, of the stars. Why don't you just go through – just go Thomas, through. You started with the dad. All right, the mother, Amanda Wise. Um, you have Katrina – Bo, uh, Bowden, who plays Juliet, the oldest, the oldest daughter. daughter. Then you have Emily Parker, who plays Wendy, the middle, middle sister. Daughter. And then you got the youngest, which is India Aninga, which is who plays Lisa in the film. I think I said her name right. And then you got, this is why I wanted to do this, Thomas Jane, who is probably one of the other notable char char actors in the film. He's the biggest named actor in the movie. He, he really is. He was uh, Who's bigger than Thomas Jane, you know, in that film. No, no, but Jay Moore would be second. He's not, you know, Thomas Jane is right. He played Punisher, Frank Castle, and the Deep way. Blue Sea. He was in yes. So he, he's that, known that Netflix movie, Stephen King movie. Uh, I think it was nineteen nineteen twenty two. I think it's called nineteen forty seven. No, no, nineteen twenty two. Which, if it's still on Netflix. I highly, highly, highly recommend you watch. If you like Stephen King, watch this one because it's it's wild. It's out there. 1922 with Thomas Jane. And it, for those of you, real quick though, that like the um, I know some people follow this. The directors of the film it was a Mr. Michael Casey. So um, look up some of his work. I'm not really familiar. Yeah, this like it's familiar a, with this his work. A, but this one was pretty good. Yeah, like we said, this one wasn't, you know, it was no 
huge Hollywood blockbuster, you know, mega type movie. Right. Well, they know. You know but it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't like you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, Bob and and Joe's productions. No, it was a it's a Lionsgate movie. Yes, Lionsgate is the studio. So. So I mean, Lionsgate, they got a. I like Lionsgate films. They usually turn yeah, out. Yeah, Lionsgate well. does a lot of good stuff. They do a lot of horror films. Um, so uh, also too, it's not a long watch. So, you know, a little over an hour, eighty-two minutes to be exact. Hey, forget about it. That's it. Oh, so, uh, I tell you what, man, though, some of them kill scenes, bro. Like, just it was like. There were certain people you did want to have them get it, you know? Yeah. And No, but, but see, the thing is, is the movie wasn't really, it, wa it wasn't all that bloody gory. It wasn't. It, not until, well, not actually, until like, there was, the climax of the actually, film. Actually, climax was of the no film gore. was. No. There was no gore. There was blood. There was blood. There was no gore. Yeah. See, gore, I would think, like, intestines coming out and decapitation. Yeah, gore would just be body mutilated. No, it was just, you know. I mean, they, you know, they were, people were killing, and but they were just, they weren't, like, you know, ma being mangled, mutilated. They were just, you know, like I said, it's not, it's not really super bloody. It's it's more of the, like I said, it's suspense, you know, that, that the mystery suspense. That, that That's more of what it was. It was just. Right. It was. You know, with the element of horror, it's so absolutely, absolutely, ladies but, uh, and gentlemen. You know, hey, I don't care. Werewolves, and I dug it. So. Check it out. It was good. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of it. Bill's a big fan of it. Absolutely, so you guys should absolutely. be too. Um, so and now we're gonna we're gonna move on to uh, the ratings portion of our show, where we're gonna give our ratings. And before we do, we're going to share with you just some of the ratings that we were able to find on this movie from, from other outlets. Which I don't totally ever agree with those no, other no, outlets. No, I rarely agree with them. Yeah, to those the outlets. The majority, <laughs> like all the, 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 the bigger named movie critics, usually the movies that they absolutely hated were like, my favorite movies, the ones I like loved, and then they're yeah, like, "Oh like, my god!" Like they, Howard the Duck, they couldn't stop talking about this movie, and I was not able to watch, you know, a tw you know, half hour of it, and I was just like, I "Boring!" Can't, I cannot do this any Look longer. Is there something on maybe uh, the Paint Dry Channel? Yep. You know, maybe watch. Yep. Yep. You know, just watch water. How bad? How batteries are made? Yeah. Something. But yeah. anyways. So why don't you uh, take us there, Bill? But, uh, we have uh, we have the, with the IMDb ratings. Yep. You know that they got, as we all know, IMDb Internet Movie Database. If you don't know, um, they 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 rated it a uh, a three, gave it a three point oh, three out of ten. It's pretty bad. So. Um, but what do they know? You know, right? But again, yeah, they're again, you know, they're they're probably you know judging this. Movie, you know, they have certain criteria, you know, that this and that. And my criteria is like, did I enjoy watching it? You know, there you go. You know, did it keep me entertained? Did it keep my attention? You know, at the end of the movie, was I, was I happy? Was you know, <clears throat> or was I angry that I just wasted eighty-two fucking minutes of my life? Okay, that's one. We can't go over the one. Fuck. See? Oh, there you've gone and done it. You filthy mouse. You mouth. nasty McSavage. So. S-O-B. You dirty So, yeah, savage. Rotten Tomatoes audience score gave it 33%. As we know, who so, cares about rotten yeah, freaking tomatoes? Again, again, as I've stated many times. Assholes. My ratings, I give these movies are based on my own personal. It's the only one that matters, Bill. You. So, That's it. So, that being said... The uh, this movie here, out of five golden buckets of popcorn being the best, I'll give it right up until after Joey gives his score first, and then I'll tell you what my rating is because I'm curious what he says. I give it a three point five. Three point five, it was good. Three point five, a little more than half. 
Yeah. I would say. Uh, yeah. You know, Fair enough. a little extra butter on Fair that. Enough. I was going with, uh, also going with a three and a half out of five. Three and a half with extra butter. Oh, we forgot to write it down. Remember, this way we can't say, you know, what we should have done. We messed up. We messed up. You don't have to write it down. If you're going to give you my score, no I don't consistency. Care. I don't care what your score is. <laughs> I'm going to give my score what I said. I'm not going to say, oh, i got to do a better score than him. No, if I you like the movie better than me, then your score is going to be better. My feelings but are hurt. I gave it a three and a half. And three and a half buckets with extra butter. No extra butter for you? Just three and a half plain buckets? I said, I said with some extra butter. Okay, well, it's not some. It's extra butter or not? It's extra butter. Bro. All right. It's extra butter. Three and a half. That's, that's, that's like better than three. Uh, than three. Load them calories three, up, regular bro. Regular three and a half. Three and a half with extra butter is much better, as you all know. So, all right, there man. you have it. Hunter's Moon. Check it out. Available at your local Red Box. It, well, it's not necessarily available at all of them. Um, so just check. You, you know, you can go right to, uh, you, you know, get the app on the phone, go to the website on the computer. Or Red Box. Look a movie and then, you know, find a uh, or you location could do, near you that's got it available. You could do what they're doing now. You could order it digitally to rent it, too. I know a lot of people are doing that, especially since y'all quarantine. Yes. I mean, we're quarantined. Exactly. Oh, yeah. and how can we forget, since you're quarantined, sitting at home, staying at home, ain't going out. You have all the time in the world, Go too. Ahead and Tag that subscribe, subscribe button, button that you see down there underneath. And that somewhere. little thing, that little thing that looks like a bell? Yeah. Click it. Boom. Well, tap it, I should say. And yeah. then. And then give our thumbs up. If you like the videos, the video. give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, just do it to support us, man. Come yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do me a solid. Do me a solid. And Joey, you're making me very proud. <laughs> do me a solid. Do me a solid. So, yeah. All right. Subscribe, bell icon. Thumbs up. Check out some of our past movie reviews. Absolutely. Also, I do want to bring this up real quick. Don't forget, too, if you guys ever want to message myself, Big Shot Joe, or Captain Bill here, we have our Facebook pages, Big Shot Joe, Captain Bill, the 321 Screw page, all on Facebook. You can, you can send us a message through there. If you want, write comments on the videos. If you guys have your Google account with YouTube, you can leave a comment and let us know what you think of these reviews. Give us ideas for movies that yeah. you may want to see. Like I, like I said, my nephew, Zach, Zachary, I, I promise you, the next one that we do is going to be The Lighthouse. I, we'll see. I bought it. He is sitting on the coffee <laughs> table right now. It is. It is. He's so not it lying. It will be coming soon. He usually it, lies, but he's not lying. Within a, within within the week, within the next week, maybe we, next week, we will have it up there. Well, I'm just saying we're gonna try. But within a week from today, we're gonna have it done. Alrighty then. It's in concrete. Yeah, it's there gonna happen. It's in stone. So. It's gonna happen. And if we don't, that uh, that little girl from the ring is gonna crawl up out of the well and come get us. She'll get you first. We're going to be watching that film then. Well, then once she gets you, I'll know, oh, shit, i got to go watch this movie and review it real quick, and then she'll go back to her well. So, um, right. oh, and uh, one Seven more days, thing. Bro. One more thing I just got to say. Um, yes, sir. To my buddy Brian. You know who you are, Hickory Stick. Who's Brian? For those of you who uh, watch wrestling, my boy Brian wants the world to know. That Sasha Banks has got the best bootay in all of the WWA. WWA. <laughs> no, I was saying it, it was E, but I was trying to say it like A. Yeah. Say it like like I was Snoop Dogg or something. You know, I was trying to throw some stank on it. Slapping the base. But uh, but yeah, no, yeah, my buddy Brian. Yeah, he thinks Sasha Banks has got the best ass in uh, wrestling. All so right. He wanted me to share that with you guys. Oh, yeah. He said he was gonna watch on Sunday. The next video that we put out to see if I said it. So he said it, even and though this isn't our wrestling in, show. I have to do it. But he he video. broke kayfabe for you during our movie review. Well, I mean, way to go, They Brian. are watching our movie review on our three, two, one screw wrestling YouTube channel. channel which, Ab absolutely, for those of you who don't know, the screw stands for Space Coast Real Elite Wrestling. No, so. it don't. Yes, it does. 
sorry. It sounds. It stands for screw you, Joey. You are wrong. <laughs> screw you, cat. So, in closing, in conclusion, yep, Hunter's Moon. Check it out. You'll enjoy it. I think if you like werewolf movies, um, you know, you'll like it. I think you, I think you will. It's different. Or, and, uh, and be looking for our next video. And check out our old videos. And then watch future videos after the next one. Yeah, what he said. So. You should do it. Please. So. Joey, why don't you take us out? I, I, I can. Go ahead. Go <gasps> ahead. Take us out. So I just wanted to let everybody know. No, 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 no. no. I take I changed my mind. Why? I'm gonna go ahead and close this. That's terrible. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to let everybody know. Stay safe, stay quarantined. Oh, hold on. Hand me that can right there. Of? That purple can. It, trust me on this folks. Do not spray just, me. Don't don't move. We're good. Take us out. You sure? Yeah, we've sanitized. We can go now. So I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, we appreciate your support. We appreciate the views. Um, thank you guys for making 321 Screw what it is already. And we're looking towards the future. Uh, eventually, we're going to be having more improvements with our show. Um, Stay tuned to see our content. Uh, next movie review you said, The Lighthouse. Starring Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. And Robert Pattinson. So if you haven't seen it yet, now I'm telling you now, we're going to review that one next. So uh, check, check that it out, out yourself. Do some homework. Yeah, you and got then, homework. And you know, you'll see our review and then you can agree with us and say, you know what, those guys are right. Or you can say... What the hell are those two talking about? Yeah, man, they must have been. Are they, are they smoking pencil shavings before are they, they do, start this show? Are they doing acid? I think they're on the shrooms. Did he just say PC, motherfucking P? Are they drinking beers? I look poor. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Captain Bill, Big Shot Joe. Watch a movie. We out. Oh.